Praise the Lord and welcome to Jisr Lil Masih, that is Bridges to the Messiah, with Pastor Joseph here at ABN, Al Aramiya. This program is a 10 minute program taking parts of the Quran, particular verses, and finding uh, doors or bridges, if you will, pointing to the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, we don't believe that the Quran is the word of God, but we do believe that there are passages in the Quran. There are certain points in the Quran where a thinking individual can find a road, a door, a arrow to Jesus Christ and his message as the true gospel. We find one today in Surah 3, Surah 3, Surah Al-Imran, Surah 3, verse 3. Let's take a look at that in the Quran now. Surah 3, verse 3. It is he who sent down to thee in truth the book conforming, confirming what went before it, and he sent down the law of Moses and the gospel of Jesus. Now, very interesting. Uh, Allah here is supposedly speaking to Muhammad. It says in Surah 3, verse 3, Nazala alayka. Alayka is second person singular. It's speaking to Muhammad. He has sent down to you the truth in the book, here talking about the Quran, confirming that which went before it. So the Quran is supposed to be a confirmation of that which went before. Wanazla al Torah wa al Anjil, the Torah of Moses, the Gospel of Jesus. Now it's interesting because Yusuf Ali and the translators translate this passage confirming what went before it. In the Arabic, it says. Nazala alayka al kitab bil haq musaddaka musaddaka lima bain idahi. Well, bain idahi, bain idahi is between his hands. It's very interesting because this passage is used often in the Quran, but we look and find that the Quran actually teaches that the Bible is not corrupted. But the Bible in the time of Muhammad was available, the Torah and the Anjil, and Muhammad and the Quran and Allah say it had not been corrupted. In fact, it is confirmed by the Quran. Now, of course, we know that the Bible today and the Quran, they do agree on some things, but they don't agree on the most important things. Who is Jesus Christ? Who is the Messiah? What has God done for us by Jesus Christ? dying on the cross. So what is the deal? Well, Muslims have said, okay, the point is that the Bible has been corrupted and the Quran is the truth, so let's forget the Bible, let's follow the Quran. But actually this is not what the Quran says. The Quran says many times that the message sent down to Muhammad is confirming what was in the hands of Muhammad, in the hands of Muhammad or what was available to Muhammad uh, and his followers at that time, uncorrupted examples of the Torah, of the Bible, okay? Well, the problem is that if the Bible was pure and uncorrupted in the time of Muhammad, uh, then how could it be corrupted today? Well, Muslims will say, well, maybe it was corrupted after that time, but this was in the seventh century. We have copies of the Bible from the time of Muhammad, the seventh century, after the time of Muhammad and even before the time of Muhammad to prove that the Bible has not changed during that period of time. It's interesting if you continue to look in the Quran, there are many passages and references that use this phrase, bain idahi or bain idahi. And here in Surah Al-Imran, again in verse 50, we have another uh, passage concerning this. It says, to attest the law which was before me, and to make lawful to you part of what was forbidden to you, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, so fear Allah and obey me. Here again we have this uh, language, because what is the context? If you find the context here is, uh, is supposedly Jesus is speaking. Jesus is speaking. Uh, you look back in verse uh, 45, Behold, the angel said, Mary, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Jesus, Christ Jesus. He shall speak to his people. You continue reading and studying. And then 
uh, you will find in verse 50 and then verse 51, this is supposedly Jesus speaking. So Jesus comes and he says, I've come to you for what purpose? To attest to the law which was before me. So Jesus is coming to confirm the Torah that was or in between his hands. He had the Torah before him. He had it in his hands and he was confirming it. But we see back in the beginning of Surah 3, verse 3, the very same language is used of Muhammad concerning the Bible. So Muhammad is supposedly confirming the Bible between his hands. Well, what's the point of all this? Muslims say that you should follow Islam and not Christianity. You should follow the Quran and not the Bible. The Bible's been corrupted because the Bible says that Jesus is God. Well, the Quran says no. Jesus is the Son of God. The Quran says no. Jesus is the Christ. He died on the cross for all who would believe upon him. The Quran says no. He raised again on the third day. The Quran says no. And so Muslims say, well, the only way to, to deal with this discrepancy is obviously the Bible's wrong. It's been corrupted. Well, when was it corrupted? It wasn't corrupted uh, at the time of Muhammad. The ver these verses and others make it very clear. The Quran says that Christians and Jews should follow the scriptures that they have been given. And we're not to make any distinction between the scriptures. And Allah protects all of his words. So was it corrupted before the time of Muhammad? Well, if that was the case, then Muhammad would be a liar because what is, uh, and Allah would be a liar because what is between his hands, Baini Dehi, would not be the true Torah or Anjil that is being confirmed by the Quran. Do you see the problem? Let's take a look at another passage. Very important here, Surah Al Yunus, Surah 10, verse 94. Surah 10, verse 94 in the Quran. Let's take a look at this verse that Muslims don't like us to know about, but it's here. Verse 10, 94, uh, chapter 10, 94. What is this? If you were in doubt as to what we have revealed unto thee, then ask those who have been reading the book from before thee. Al kitab min qiblak. The book from before thee, the truth hath indeed come to them from thy Lord, so be in no wise of those in doubt. Allah is speaking to Muhammad. Allah is speaking to Muhammad. فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَقَّ مِمَّا النِّزْلِ مِمَّا النِّزْلِ لِنَا لَيْكَ لَيْكَ, second person singular. He's not talking to all of the ummah, he's talking to Muhammad. Allah is saying, Muhammad, if you're in doubt as to anything that we, Allah, have revealed to you, then go and ask those who have been reading the book from before thee. The truth hath indeed come to thee from thy Lord. So in other words, Muhammad, if something we reveal to you, you don't understand, you're in doubt about, we'll tell you how to make sure that you got it right. Go to the Christians and the Jews who've been reading the book before you, and they will help you to understand. Do you see? <laughs> Even Allah tells Muhammad, go to the Christians and Jews. They have the word of God. They will explain it to you. The Bible in the time of Muhammad, according to the Quran, is pristine, is perfect, has not been changed. We have copies, folks, of the Bible from the time of the Quran, from the time of Muhammad, from time before Muhammad. The Bible today has not been changed. The Bible is trustworthy. The Bible is reliable. The Bible is the eternal word of God. Muslims, you need to understand, uh, people like to say the Bible's been corrupted. It's been changed. The Bible has much more proof for it not being changed and for it being the original word than the Quran does. As a matter of fact, the Quran doesn't have any manuscript evidence for the first 150 years to 200 years after the Quran was written. The Bible has manuscript evidence within one generation, 20, 30 years from when it was written. We have now fragments of the New Testament, little pieces. Within 100 years, we have whole books, yes indeed, of the Bible that we can test. The Bible is trustworthy. Jesus Christ is the word of God. It's time to come to the Lord Jesus. Here's a quick passage from the scriptures in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. For we do not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Muhammad was not an eyewitness of Jesus, but Peter was and Paul was. 
For he received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And we heard the voice which came from heaven when we were with him in the holy mountain. And so we have the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts, knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, for prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, including the Apostle Paul, who had a special revelation of Jesus Christ after Jesus Christ had risen from the dead. All right, well, Muslims, just our little Messiah, bridges to the Messiah. The Bible is true. The Bible is trustworthy. You need to come to Christ. You need to read the Bible. And listen, Muslims, even the Quran, even the Quran teaches that the Bible is trustworthy, a document that we find is necessary for people to come to salvation. Allah tells Muhammad, if you don't understand, go to the Christians and Jews who read the Bible and let them explain it to you. Muslims, you do good in that case to listen to Allah, come to Christians and ask us about the truth. The truth is that Jesus is waiting to save you today. This is Pastor Joseph, just a little Messiah, Bridges to the Messiah, right here at Al-Aramiya, A-B-M.